Fast Picks now from David Burroughs. He's the president and chief investment strategist at uh, Barometer Capital Management. April 9th of 2013, you recommended to Kiera. It's up uh, 26 percent. That includes the dividend. I'm guessing, well, you are still in this one. And this plays right into your theme of infrastructure. Yeah, this would be a top 10 holding for us, and it has been for about three years. Our key thesis has been that big boom in oil and gas needs big boom in, in uh, infrastructure. And Kiera plays in uh, processing. It plays in transport. Uh, it fits across a bunch of categories, and they continue to have great investment opportunities as they go forward. The interesting thing, just as an aside, for all these energy infrastructure companies is beyond the oil sands, we now look forward to what will ultimately become a bigger focus on LNG, and that will be the next opportunity for these companies, and Kara will play into that. Uh, there you go. There's Kara. Uh, estimated earnings, uh, price earnings ratio 27. You just have to suck it up with, uh, with, if you, you want to get you, in now? You, you have to look at the fact that these companies are going to have excellent dividend growth as they go forward. Mm -hmm. uh, and they have very long life contracts, which makes them very predictable. So this is not a high volatility situation where their world is going to change in the next 12 months. It will be very incrementally better. Next up, uh, Merck & Co. You recommended this uh, about a year ago, uh, and it's up by 28%, including the dividend. Right. So about a year ago, we made a move to financials and healthcare. Uh, and consumer on the back of lower inflation and better equity markets. And so biotech and pharma really have been uh, in the top two or three sectors in the market over the last uh, 18 months. Merck continues to be a holding of ours, uh, uh, as well as many of the biotech companies. And it looks as though, you know, with the Obama program that's taking place, there's not going to be less drugs sold, there's going to be more. And these companies got very under-owned after many years of, of sideways performance. And, uh, and it's a big industry the US, in the U.S. and a well, good dividend-paying sector. Which other big pharmas do you hold? Uh, we own Biogenetic. We own uh, some Gilead. We own some J&J. &J, uh, we own some Pfizer. Mm -hmm. And you don't choose to, to own that uh, IBB? The, uh... we, we do. We own the ETF IBB okay. and FBT, which are both biotech ETFs. We own PPH and PJP in our ETF strategy. All right, you're all over it. Uh, Walgreen and companies had a great return in the last year, up 40%, but you're since out of this one. Uh, what was the reasoning there? We are. So, so when we invest, we always look for some kind of catalyst that takes a good company to a better company and could get a multiple expansion. About a year ago, they made an acquisition of a bunch of stores from, um, from Boots Alliance. And the premise was that they could squeeze a lot of costs out and consolidate the stores. And that's exactly what they've done. So this was a very good position for us. Uh, a few months ago, we reduced our consumer weight to move more towards industrials because that's the next stage of this recovery. And it's not that there's anything wrong with this. In fact, today they said that they are getting more cost savings than they had expected sooner and that they plan to close a bunch of stores, which will add to the bottom line. So this continues to be a good play. We just think that we want a little more focus in industrials than consumer today. All right, very good. Walgreen, Merck, and Kiera, past picks of David Burroughs. Half an hour to go uh, with the David here. North American Large Caps is the topic, and we'll get back to your questions after this.